Today, we have a BMW 325i E46 with a M54 engine. The problem with this car is we have a jet engine light and when the car is idling, we can smell the unburned fuel at the exhaust. When we run a quick scan on this car, we have a DTC P0102 which is a problem with mass airflow sensor. While this sensor is malfunctions, it cannot adjust the air fuel ratio injected into our engine. This DTC might be what causes the check engine light. Now we're going to check and fix this problem. For your information, this is hot film air mass type of sensor. As we can see in the wiring diagram, this sensor has three wire. A third is power. Second is signal. And the first one will be ground. Now we will go ahead and check on three wires to see if they return proper values. We will then compare the result we have with the component permissible range in ISTA in order to conclude that we truly have a problem with, with the sensor. From left to right, the factory has already numbered the pin on the connector, so you will know which pin is which. After scanning through the theories, we know that pin 1 is ground, pin 2 is signal, and pin 3 is power. Firstly, we will have to check the power of this sensor using DC voltage scale on our multimeter. The power switch must be turned on during this measurement. I have already propped this power wire out to my multimeter. As you can see, there is 12 volt on the multimeters, which means power is present. Now we will check the second wire, which is signal. We must turn off the ignitions and wait for 3 to 5 minutes. As you can see, the voltage is approximately 0 0.04. Now we will compare these values to get live values that we will see in our ISTA. You don't see me measuring the ground because I forget to videos that when I was measuring, but it's very easy to check. On ISTA, choose scan DME. Go to Diagnosis Scan, choose Air Supply, then choose Air Mass and Voltage Air Smart Flow Sensor and read the state. According to this state values, when the engine is not running, the data is 0.04 voltage, which is similar with the value that we have on our multimeter earlier and air mass is 0 kg per hour. Let's turn on the engines. The voltage increase as well as the air mass. Now we will compare the value between our multimeter with the ISDA. As I mentioned before, the second wire is our signal. I'll prop it again to measure. The voltage we have on our multimeters is 1.07 volt, which is almost as same as the values on ISDA. So we can conclude that our sensor is not malfunctioned. So I think the issues might be that we have a leakage in our intake system. Furthermore, when our engine is stabilized, the amounts of AMS will be between 13 to 16 kg per hour. This is cold start, so the value must be higher in order to warm up the engine. And after a while, this amount will drop. Let's take a look at the air intake system. As seen in this dock, we have a resonant system. It provides quick air intake when the engine is, is at low RPM as well as much additional power at high RPM through a magnetic valve. This system is controlled by ECM. During low to mid range RPM, the resonant flap is closed. This produces a single intake tube for velocity, which is increased engine torque. 
during mid-range to high RPM. The resonance flap is opened. This allows the intake air to pull through both resonance tubes, providing the air volume necessary for additional power. This is how this system works mechanically. You will have to go ahead and check this system when you know that the mass airflow sensor is still working. Or in my workshop, I use a smoke generating machine for quick diagnosis. So for this car, there is no problem with the mass airflow sensor. I suspect there must be a problem with the air intake system. There might be a leakage along there somewhere.